Flowers blooming, business booming. This is Caruso Florist in Washington, D.C., a fourth-generation family-run shop that's been a feature of the nation's capital for more than a hundred years. Customers used to queue out the door here. Footfall drove revenue. But times have changed. Now the orders come in by phone or online. Demand here peaks on two main occasions, Valentine's Day and Mother's Day. People love flowers, and any mother or wife or man or woman will love to get flowers any time of the year. So it's always special on Mother's Day, especially when they know their children thinking about them. <laughs> Michael and his team say they'll go through 350,000 stems of flowers to meet this weekend's orders. No surprise, flowers are the most common gift choice on Mother's Day, but they're among the cheapest. A National Retail Federation survey shows around 84% of adults plan to celebrate Mother's Day this year, and on average, they're projected to spend more than $250 per person. That figure's even higher for people between the ages of 35 and 44. Jewellery and other accessories account for most of that expenditure. Industry experts suggest the valued presents are personal. I think it's important to think about who your mom is and what she might like. So for instance, if she does yoga, a yoga mat from Lululemon is a great idea. If she is headed to the beach this summer or likes to be outside, maybe a beach bag from Tommy Bahama. And of course, all moms like to be spoiled. So something like she can have a spa day at home with beauty items from Nordstrom. With that, retailers can expect a consumer spending mini boom in May, a multi-billion dollar bonanza that'll paint a rosy picture for mum and for the US economy. Benji Hires, CGT in Washington.